In the first step of your member sign-up process, your members may select their pickup location or delivery option. This video will show you how to set up these options from your administrative dashboard. The Routes Manager is found under the Status menu in your administrative dashboard. From the Routes Manager, you will be able to control your delivery routes, pickup locations, and delivery zones. You can think of a route as what your delivery truck driver will follow to drop off orders at each location assigned to that route for a specific day of the week. To edit a route, click on the route title one or two times so that the route's editor pops up. From here, you may edit the title of the route and its designated delivery day. You may only select a delivery day that is selected in your schedules. Please note, your members will not see your route titles. To create a new route, click on the green plus sign in the upper right corner. To edit a location, click on the location to open its location editor. You may find and open a location editor by using the location finder, clicking on the pin on the map, or finding it under its assigned route. Now that we have opened the location editor, let's review each field and how it will appear to your members. The location title will appear to your members in the first step of the sign-up process. By assigning the location to a route, you are assigning the location to the same delivery day as that route. For example, this location is assigned to the Friday pickup route, so members who select this location will be scheduled to receive their orders on Fridays only. You may also indicate the hours during which a member may expect to pick up or receive their order. For each location that you set up, you are also required to enter a street address, city, state, and zip code. This is so that a location will appear with a pin on the map. By default, this address is displayed in the first step of the sign-up process for all potential vis visitors to see. If you do not want this street address to appear in the first step of the sign-up process, you may enter something in the public address field of the location editor to hide the street address in the public sign-up process. For example, many of our customers host pickup sites at a member's private home. Members may not want their street number to be shared with anyone until the potential member commits to your program. So you may enter the name of the neighborhood or an intersection near the site host's house. The comments field is another useful field to guide potential members to select the correct pickup location from the first step of the sign-up process. For example, if you have set up a pickup site at a daycare and the daycare managers only want to allow customers to pick up at that site, you may add a note to the comment field indicating this restriction so that it will appear in the first step of the sign-up process. Once a member has completed the sign-up process and committed to becoming one of your members, they may log into their account to view the actual street address of the pickup location and any additional information that you enter under the Instructions and Directions tab. One of the remaining fields to review under the Info tab of the Location Editor is the Capacity field. The capacity that you enter for a location limits the number of members that may sign up to a location. To create a new location, click Click on the green plus sign in the upper right corner of the Items Manager. Once you have these essential fields complete, you may save changes and the location will appear in the first step of the sign-up process. Let's go over some more advanced settings for locations. Let's say that under the Info tab of the Location Editor, you entered a capacity of 10 for your location. If you go to the Advanced tab of the Location Editor, you will see that the checkbox for Allow Waitlist is selected by default.
This means that when the capacity for a location is filled, the location will be turned into a waitlisted location. This means that when a potential member goes to sign up for your program, they may select the waitlisted location, but then they'll need to select an alternative location to receive their orders at in the meantime in order to complete the sign-up process. From the advanced settings of the Location Editor, you may also set up fees that will apply for that location only. The fuel cost fee is applied to each distribution that the member is scheduled to receive. You may define this fee as a fixed dollar amount, such as $2 per distribution, or a percentage of the value of the subscription distribution, such as 2% per distribution. The membership fee, on the other hand, is a one-time fee that the member only pays once at the time of sign-up. You may designate one or more hosts for a pickup site. The site host must have an account with your firm made as a host. If you choose to publish a host, their contact information will appear in the, to the member from the Pickup Directions tab of their account page. There is one remaining field that we have not reviewed. That is the field for Delivery Zone. If you are planning on making door-to-door -door deliveries to your members, please continue watching this video. If you do not plan to make door-to-door -door deliveries, never check the box for Delivery Zone. And click on the link below to learn more about managing shares and to continue setting up your Firmigo system. If you plan to make door-to-door -door deliveries, you will want to set up a delivery zone. In order to set up a delivery zone, you will want to start by setting up a route and location as usual. For instance, you may set up a route dedicated to door-to-door -door deliveries and then start to set up the delivery zone by creating a new location and assigning it to that route. You will then need to enter an address so that this option appears on the map. Then you will want to hide the street address by entering something in the public address field. I recommend entering an address that will put the pin in the middle of the delivery zone, such as the address of a random coffee shop. Then enter something in the public address field to hide the street address in the sign-up process. Then enter the parameters of the delivery zone in the comment field to help your members know the limitations of home delivery. Make sure to enter a capacity of two so that the option will appear in the sign-up process. Then go to the advanced tab and check the box for delivery zone. This is the only time that you should check this box. By checking this box, it means that when a member selects the delivery zone, and completes the sign-up process. The system will automatically generate a unique location for this member and assign it to the same route as the delivery zone. So as you can see here, a unique location was set up just for this member. Now that you know the basics of routes, locations, and delivery zones, continue reading below to learn more or click on the link below to learn about managing shares and to continue setting up your Farm ecosystem.